I always wanted to do like a cooking show and stuff, and I was like, oh, hi, I'm Valerie from chowchick.com, and when I'm in a rush for a healthy meal, I, well, usually I just check the package to see if there's a quicker way. But what I don't do is microwave it, yuck. Microwave is like toxic with all that radiation and stuff. It belongs in one place, one place only. In the trash. Told ya. Not only is she right, but she's a cutie pie. Sick. I have an idea. Yeah. Like the microwave. I heard that. Get in now. Some folks thought it'd be a good idea to push my microwave off the ledge. I was saving us. From what, Jimbo? If anything, you endangered any poor soul that was walking beneath a falling microwave oven. That new box was toxic. All that radiation and stuff? Radiation is not a bad word. Microwaves are the non-ionizing part of the electromagnetic spectrum between radio and infrared. Radio is used for listening and communication, while infrared is simply heat. After infrared is red. The whole rainbow comes in, visible light. You know, Roy G. Biv. Worrying about microwaves is like worrying about radio or light. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but light and heat bother me all the time. Not to mention talk radio. Despite the name micro, microwaves are too big to escape the nuke box. All you need is a screen like this to prevent the waves from going through. What about the food? There's nothing protecting it from the microwaves. We eat, we die. Thanks, toxic TV. It doesn't exactly work that way. It all starts with a transformer. No, not that transformer, but one that changes the incoming voltage. A capacitor stores energy that the magnetron uses. No, magnetron. And it converts the electrical energy into microwaves that cause mostly water molecules to wiggle faster and faster, increasing friction and converting into heat. Um, I'm sorry, I don't want my food to wiggle. There's also no substantial data showing us that microwave ovens are harmful to us. If you don't believe me, then use Google Scholar to find any peer-reviewed studies. All conclusions and discussions can be found here. Sounds like one big conspiracy. If you want to reference the internet, we got YouTube. Chow Chick, she speaks truth. Chow Chick? Well, I have a cousin in Italy, Chef Avogado. And he's got a YouTube channel. And I thought I remember him doing an episode of Cooking with Microwaves. Here, let me pull it up. Some foods are okay to reheat in a microwave, like a tomato sauce. Don't worry about the heat lessening nutrients. This happens with all ovens, not just a microwave. In fact, some foods release some nutrients when heated, like lysopene and pomodori. Really? Chef Luigi is going to school us on science? He probably has like three subscribers or anything, you know? <laughs> You're right, Jimbo. We need to put it to the test. Tonight's homework, everyone, is to find a way to test whether or not microwaves are harmful to living organisms. I'll research it too. Oh. We'll conduct an experiment. For you guys there, if you're right, you're off the hook. But if proven wrong, you'll have to serve Saturday school and community service. Fine, you get yourself a deal. Hey team, hey. you wouldn't believe the day I had today at school. We got work to do. Hey. So uh, how can we best test the effects of microwave radiation, if any, on something living? Just replace Nautilus by nature's tank with microwave water for a full year. <laughs> hey. 
Yeah, no, I, I see that here, but it's too limited. We need many plants for each type of water. Yeah, but wouldn't baby plants be better? Of course, we'll do seeds. Man, I could help with the whole experiment. Guess that means you gotta feed me more today. Nice try, Guinea the pig. Mm. <laughs> but I'll instead feed you with knowledge and experience. I don't want your knowledge or whatever. I, I want lasagna. Gabiche. Oh. So, what were you able to find for homework last night? Two plants, microwave water versus not. Done. Genius. That's been done to death. Anyone else think that one plant for each is enough? No! 50? 100? Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't need all of that. Good numbers, but let's meet somewhere near the middle. Say 80 for each type of water. Just for that, Daniel? Like 200 plants are gonna be inside your house. 160, actually. And what would be better than full-grown plants? Seeds! In that case, we can start this weekend. You can. Nerds. I got better stuff to do, like anything other than that. What? Designing the method of an experiment will lead to a list of materials. For this experiment, it is best to use bowls of the same type by the same brand, holding the same amount. A standard microwave oven will work. Three minutes is usually enough to boil this much water. A conventional oven will take longer. At 500 degrees, it will take over 30 minutes. Allow both bowls to cool off until room temperature. At least 200 seeds, like radish here, are needed in case some are lost or damaged. Small plastic trays with cotton sheets should work best. A small one milliliter syringe should be used for watering an exact amount for each tray of 10 seeds. Three milliliters total. This will need to happen for all 16 trays every day for eight days. To avoid mistakes, be sure to keep tally in a notebook, along with any other notes, especially while the sprouting happens. Microwave water had no negative effect on the radish sprouts. While more experimentation is always encouraged, these results will be enough to report back to the class. So there you have it, class. Some seeds sprouted, some seeds did not. But no clear pattern emerged. Baloney. And our results show the same thing that scientists have already proven. The EM spectrum doesn't start to become harmful to us until the ionizing part, which begins at ultraviolet. Also known as UV, ultraviolet is what makes us sunburn. Too much exposure to the sun or even tanning beds can lead to skin cancer. Next is x-rays, which when used responsibly can be of great help, like x-raying your teeth at the dentist. Because it's low power and in a small dose, it is safe for us. But the most radioactive and harmful of the whole EM spectrum are gamma rays. Do you mean the kind that turned Dr. Banner into the Hulk? <laughs> yeah, I wish that were true in real life. Instead, we would just die quickly or slowly, depending on the strength and dosage. Gamma rays can come from supernovae and stars, these are also known as cosmic rays. Like the Fantastic Four? Uh, yeah, but th they would have died too. On Earth, we use radioactive elements like uranium and plutonium to generate power in nuclear plants. But every once in a while, a meltdown can occur, releasing gamma rays for miles and miles. Gee, what a buzzkill you are. Next thing you'll say is that bombs are made with this stuff and can flatten cities. <laughs> um, yeah. Some of these same elements are used to make nuclear weapons that can cause tremendous death and destruction, like the ones used in World War II. So when you consider the damaging parts of ionizing radiation, microwaves seem pretty tamed, nestled between radio and infrared. And that means that you three will have to do Saturday school and community service. I'm still not convinced. This is unfair. Oh, let it go, Jimbo. He's right. Yeah, and you got us into this mess. Uh, 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 uh. Community service will begin tomorrow. What have I done?
finally got through another boring Lombardi lab. But if you want to see more of me and that loser Lombardi, just subscribe. If you want to see more of me and Laboratory Larry, but more of me, obviously, just subscribe. Okay. Okay. All right. Now that the boring video is over, guess what? You want to see more of me? Go to this. What did you say? No. Okay. All right. So now, okay. So if we finally survived one of another boring Lombardi lab, and uh, but if you want to subscribe, hit that button, and you'll get more of me. And that that's the most important thing, right? Science fake, fake science. Science fake, 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 fake science. It's fake. Fake science. Fake science.